hello everyone so today i am going to implement uh, a way to define the driving side of the road for the cars so here for the car i have enabled this added this drive on right uh, boolean if i make this true the car will be driving on the right side of the road if i make it false the car will be driving on the left side of the pro road so let me show you so now I have kept the drive on right as false. Now you can see the cars are driving on the left side of the road. See. And if I change it, if I make drive on right true. Now you should see the cars driving on the right side like this. Alright, so let's see how to implement this today. So at the moment uh, when I play this car driving system uh, the cars directly following the defined path so th they don't really have an idea like whether to go in on the left side of the road or right side of the road so they just go directly on the middle just like you can see here according to the place defined by this spline this is spline so now what I'm going to do is making them move in one side of the road so that I so after implementing that I can implement a, a way to move cars on the opposite side of the road as well so that then when they have a site so yeah how to do that so for that we have to modify uh, the way cars detect the location that they need to move that is done in in here in this find next target function which I run in this timer well, no, actually this one only determine the target spline distance. That means the length from the beginning of the spline to the point that we need to reach. So then instead of directly getting that point, if we let me collapse this, get target point here we can get right vector at distance along spline and coordinate space should be world so if we assume uh, from the middle of the road to the right side the distance is let's say let me convert this to a float for lane width let's call this lane width so I'll assign 150 to this and add this together so this will give us a point to the right side of the road assuming that cars are driving on the right side so yeah let's see now so this is the middle the spline is always in the middle but if I 
simulate now you should see car positions uh, let me pause Uh, not really they are still on top of the road uh, spline no. ah sorry I have forgot I haven't connected this here now it should work let's see now you see the point is always on the right side uh, but still car is in the middle why is that oh wait what did I assign for the lane with 120 let's try 500 and see if we get any difference yeah now it's working fine the car is on the right side so now I should be able to implement a way to make cars drive on the other side of the road as well yeah it's going too much to the side yeah that's because this plane the way I have defined is not good but yeah that's not something hard to fix so anyway now the system is working as intended Oh, 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 what happened? Ah, I noticed one thing. So if I do some edits to the spline, then if I play, somehow this construction script reference is disconnected or something happens. So you have to compile the car again. See, now it works okay so now let's add another variable to define the driving site so that you can toggle it mm -hmm. how find here this uh, we can multiply it with uh, plus one no more minus one select this should be plus one if it is driving on right this should be minus one if the cars are driving on left side of the road so drive on right if I let me keep this true now I shouldn't see any difference cars are driving on the right side just like before see now if I make this false and compile now they should be driving on the left nice okay so they can drive on both sides now right so I'm gonna stop this episode right here and in the next episode 
I'm going to work on making cars drive in the opposite direction also because at the moment they can only drive this way uh, if we consider this like a circle only clockwise so yeah uh, thanks for watching as always project files will be available here in the patron page for download link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye